If you happen to be a chocoholic and you also get late night sweet cravings from time to time, I think I just described 10 out of 9 people. Then I have the perfect treat for you, low calorie hot chocolate. Now this channel is all about teaching you simple habit changes that lead to long term weight loss success. Not about overcomplicating things like spending 30 minutes in the kitchen meal prepping, but simple habit changes, which by the way, if that's what you're looking for, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today with the super tasty, easy to make hot chocolate, because all it takes is three ingredients, two minutes and one sweet craving mofo, which is where you come in. Now, I know you love to hear me talk, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to let you go so I can teach you how to make the super easy and tasty hot chocolate. So like I said at the beginning of the video, this is going to be a very easy to make hot chocolate. We're only going to need three ingredients for the 30 calorie version. First, you're going to need one cup of unsweetened almond milk, and this is going to be 30 calories. You're going to need one tablespoon of dark chocolate. And this is the most important part. You have to make sure that you get dark chocolate. For this one, I'm going to be using the Hershey's brand, but you can use any other brand as long as it's special dark chocolate. And you're going to need about one tablespoon of probably more like half a tablespoon of artificial sweetener. You can use stevia, splenda, erythritol, monk fruit, whatever you prefer. And with these three ingredients, you're only going to be looking at 40 calories with only two grams of net carb. Now, if you don't mind an extra 15 calories or an extra two or three grams of net carb, and you want to make it look like it did in the thumbnail, then all you're going to add is Hershey's syrup, zero sugar. You're going to add a little bit of whipped cream and one tablespoon of marshmallows, which is going to be a total of eight to 10 marshmallows. There's three benefits about dark chocolate that you have to know. First, dark chocolate is high fiber, meaning that it's going to help promote better bowel movements and it's going to help you promote an overall healthier gut. Additionally, because it's high fiber, it's going to be mostly empty calories, aka it's just going to be bulk, helping you stay full without adding calories. Number two, it's going to help reduce the risk of heart disease by protecting you from the bad cholesterol, LDL, from becoming oxidized, aka clogged arteries. And number three, dark chocolate is a phenomenal source of antioxidants, even more so than other highly promoted antioxidant foods like blueberries. But in order to get these benefits, you have to make sure that you have dark chocolate, such as we have in the video, like powder or bars. You can't just go to the grocery store and get a chocolate bar, a candy bar, or any processed, you know, high sugar chocolate and assume that you're getting these benefits. Per the strategy of this video, that's why you want to add a little bit of artificial sweetener to add some flavor to the dark chocolate so that you, so that you can get those benefits. So back to the video. So again, the focus here is making things as simple as possible for anybody trying this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the one cup of unsweetened almond milk and I'm going to go heat that for three minutes. And once you get the almond milk out of the microwave, you're just going to add one tablespoon of the dark chocolate. And of course, you can put the dark chocolate first and then put it in the microwave. That's just a preference thing. And once you put the one tablespoon, you're just going to mix it for about 15 seconds. And once you have the thoroughly mixed, you're going to add the artificial sweetener. And really all you need is one tablespoon of dark chocolate. You don't need any more or any less. I mean, if you want to add a little bit more, even an extra tablespoon, if you want to make it extra chocolatey, that's fine. Because once again, dark chocolate is uh, mostly high fiber. Even if you add an extra tablespoon, you're not really going to be adding any extra calories. And at this point, we're just going to make it look fancy. We're going to add decorations. Like I said, these are going to add uh, 15 calories if you do it, you know, like I do it right now. I mean, you could go over a little bit like 20 calories, but even then that's that's pretty a pretty insignificant amount, amount of calories. So just make sure you don't go crazy with like the syrup or the marshmallows. Juice. Just add a little bit to add a little bit of extra sweetness. So just add a little bit of uh, heavy cream, a little bit of the chocolate syrup. Some marshmallows and you're good to go. 